This is Kevin Brooks, University of Illinois Extension, here on April 12th. Field work and planting season is in place. This uh, corn field from last year will be going to soybeans. Again, this is a, a big tractor pulling a good size vertical tool. Here with an East Central Illinois farmer today. He's going to explain a little bit about what's uh, what's going on this morning on this uh, mid-April day. So. Well, here we have uh, a cross vertical tool. It's called an accelerator. It, uh, it'll work in depth of up to about four inches. Um, in springtime, you want to go shallower than that. Uh, so we typically run about two, two and a half. It's a 40 foot tool. It takes uh, Every 10 foot of the tool takes 100 horse, so this tool will take 500 horse to the pole. Um, basically all we're doing is, uh, we just chop the stalks up to the smaller residue, uh, it's more kind of conventional till. So what's the uh, concept behind a vertical tool? Uh, the concept is, you don't have deep tillage, uh, it's more, but you also don't have no till, so to me, and what you breed, you would uh, you just be more of a conservative for the environment. Because so, uh, you're not disturbing the dirt as much as you would uh, take a cook order. How long have you been using this? This tool, I think, about five years old. Um, so, I believe it's five years old at this point. Um, usually, the blades on them will last about depending on your accuracy you go over with, um, about six or seven years. And then you gotta resharpen them or you gotta treat them. Sure, we walk around, you wanna explain yeah. so what we've got here. The nice thing about the tool is there is absolutely no grease hooks on it other than the front wheels. So your maintenance on it is very slim other than just fixing broken pieces. Uh, so that's the thing, it runs off the pressure. So it's a rigid tool. You have gauges you go buy for hydraulics. Um, so like in your uh, waterway or something that's like a terrace, you'll have to take it out of your rigid and put it in a float position so it can flex. If not, it will not flex and you'll break the wheels. So it's just not get out there and run it. Uh, I guess you gotta actually have a little thought process to it. Sure. You want to explain a little bit the shape? Because I think some people remember the old discs with that would throw the dirt. Oh, the concave and all yeah. that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this has got away from that. It doesn't throw a whole lot. It uh, just throws enough to disturb the soil. It more shatters it and then lays it right back down. Um, and you can, I can take you out to see a trench and you'll see kind of how it doesn't disturb a whole lot, but it'll, it'll shatter that ground five inches down, but it won't disturb anything other than the top two inches. Sure. It's about a 35 acre field you're working on. Yes. Uh, how long does it take you to get this done? So I could cover 50 acres an hour. Run in, you run about nine and a half to ten mile an hour. So it, it, you move right along. You got some star wheels that the purpose for those is they throw it into the baskets and then the baskets will chop it up. And so you got small, fine chunks. Makes that a great seed bed, a level seed bed. Much better than a field cultivator. And in our area, we're getting away from the field cultivators and going to high speed discs and vertical tills. How are things working up this year? I know we're in the field maybe earlier than we've been a lot during the last few years. The last go, it's not working too bad. Um, we could use a little bit of rain. Uh, we're getting on the dry side again. Um, it also depends on our area. If you go north of us, they're a little wetter. Go south, they're a little wetter. Uh, but in our area, we've missed some of the rains. So we could, it's going to be dry. We could use a rain. your main screen on your tractor. This monitors uh, oil temperatures, oil pressure, uh, coolant, stuff, just stuff like that. Monitors the engine basically. This is all your GPS. So it tells you exactly where you are, your coverage map, you can mark rocks on it, um, your AV, lines, guidance, everything. So, and they communicate back and forth. So um, most guys, a lot of guys don't have this screen in here. It's just nicer because it's bigger. You can go off of this screen also to do everything. 
but it's kind of nicer to look at a 8-inch monitor versus a 6. Okay. Um, and then just basically here's all your functions for your controls, hydraulic switches, gears, throttle, and then just your radios and stuff like that. Dusty enough that all your dust is in the windows now. So, could you explain the purpose and the dual wheels? Um, traction. Just purposely traction and rotation. Um, less, less compaction. Uh, Valley came out with the Jack Channel Plane tractor that has LSWs on it, but it's even better. The tracks are even better than the game. Uh, just, uh, it all comes down to money at that point. So on your TPS, if you're in RTK, which we do, you can take it down to a very half inch. Now, right now, I'm off. I don't have the GPS set, but if I had it set, it would take me down to a very half inch. But the tractor is an articulated four-wheel drive, so it's going so fast. GPS can't keep it quite in line, so it'll vary one to two inches, um, which is big when you plan, of course. So you gotta have something that's gonna stay in a straight line. 